to help me. You won't lose your leg that much, I can promise you. But it will... Honor, I simply can't get to all these men in reasonable time. I need help from you, from anyone. I think I have someone for you. Diana, come with me. I need your help. Of course. What's the matter? Dr. White is overwhelmed and needs some extra hands. I'm no doctor, Connor. Maybe not. But I have seen you care for people before. You have the way of it. I told you I have a healer's hand. Please see to this young man. Connor, if you could help the two gentlemen out front. Thanks, Skip. Good of you to help. I should be all right. Many thanks, Captain. That's a spot better, sir. Thanks. Caught a piece of shrapnel in the shoulder. Bad luck. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Uh, caught some burn off a rope. It happens. Thanks, Skipper. You did well, Connor. But Diana, you impressed me greatly. W well, thank you, Doctor. I haven't studied the practice or anything. Maybe not, but your instincts are superb, and you have a healer's touch. If you had the time, I would be grateful for your help on a more regular basis. Might be Catherine could watch the young ones a few days a week. And if she can't, we'll find someone who will. Old man. Achilles.
What is it? Achilles has passed. I'm so sorry. He passed peacefully and with dignity. A service, then? Yes. Please prepare something appropriate. I will see the grave is dug. Can you gather everyone? Anna, if you are reading this, I have failed to say goodbye as I wanted, but the time never seemed appropriate. I leave this land and all its resources to you. I trust you now know this place has become something of great significance. A community to serve as an example of what this would-be nation could become. But the larger and stronger it grows, the more fragile and difficult to defend it becomes. I hope your friends who are birthing this infant country understand this truth. Your unwavering tenacity and honesty have burdened you with responsibility far greater than any one man should bear. But you, if anyone, are capable. You have given an old man hope that all is not lost. And for that, I thank you. I ask that you lay my bones to rest on the hill overlooking the water. There is no other place on this earth I'd rather be. I am grateful to have met you, knowing you will guide this land and these people to a better future. Yours in brotherhood. Prayer and sermon do not suit this occasion. Achilles was not a man of God, not my God at any rate. But he certainly believed in a guiding force, and he is at peace now, and for that we can be grateful. We lay him to rest here, atop the bluff where he made his honorable and dignified life, so he can remain that comforting presence, the old man on the hill that we have all grown to depend on. You all had your own relationships with him, your own moments, and I implore you to return here when the time is right for you and share those stories with the waves and the trees. Achilles, you will be missed, but never forgotten. Go safely, old man, safely to where your soul need rest. I will make you proud, old man.
America has no need for Send your them services, back to Britain gentlemen. in a box. Death to the oppressors! Cut them down! If you're hungry, have extra. No, thank you. Where is everyone? Uh, gone west. Been a while since they left. Seems some fella from New York was granted the land by Congress. What? Seeing it happen more and more. Government says they don't take land that's already owned, but... Uh, 
<laughs> How could this have happened? We're on our own now. No more merry English parts and labor, which means we gotta go at it ourselves. Gotta pay for it too. Selling land is quick and easy, not quite so nasty as taxes. And since some say they're what started the old war, ain't no rush to bring them back. <laughs> Clever men, these new leaders of ours. They know not to push it just yet. Too soon for taxes. Too... British. Thank you. Be safe. 